This is the extra example one in chapter six, soil compaction. In this example, we're going to estimate how many cubic meters of soil are needed to produce 2,500 cubic meters of compacted fuel. For this example, we know the moist unit weight of soil to be used as a compaction fuel. We know its moisture content. And we also know the required unit weight of soil after compaction. So that's 19.5. Okay. And to solve this problem, to estimate how many cubic meters, so that's basically the volume of soil needed, first we need to recognize what changed, what doesn't change during this process. So taking soil from the excavation site, transport it to the construction site, to be used as compacted fuel. So during this process, what doesn't change is the weight of solid. So weight of solid, so we call this WS. So this stays the same. Okay. So that's the uh, constant. So what changes during this process, of course, is the volume. Okay. And to calculate the volume, so first, let's look at the excavation side, the excavated soil. So for excavated soil, we know that the moist unit weight is 16.6. .6, so that's given. Okay. And we call this in situ. Okay. So gamma m in situ, this is 16.6 kilonewton per meter cube. And we know the moist, this moisture content in situ, again in situ, and this is 19%. Okay. And from this, we can calculate the dry unit weight of in situ soil. So that's the soil to be excavated. And that's gamma m in situ divided by 1 plus moisture content. Okay. And that is 16.6 .6 over 1 plus 19 over 100, or 0.19. So that is 13.95 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay. So that's what we know about the soil from the excavation side. So that is the soil to be transported. Now let's look at the compaction side. So for that construction side, or compact, or construction side. Okay. So for construction side, the specification requires that the gamma D compacted, so I call this gamma D COMP, is 19.5 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay, so that's uh, required. That's the dry unit weight after compaction. And moisture content for the compacted soil is the same as the soil at the excavation site, 19%. Okay. And the volume of compacted soil is given. So that's V of compacted, 25 100 meter cube. Okay. And from this, this given, we can estimate the weight of solids, so that's WS, of that compacted soil. So the solids WS is gamma D compacted times the volume of the compacted soil. So this comes directly from the definition of gamma D. So the dry unit weight, remember, is weight of solids over total volume. So if you substitute these two numbers, so 19.5 times 2,500 meter cube. So that gives you the weight of solids for compacted soil, 48750 kilonewton. And this weight of solid, as I said earlier, this stays constant, this stays the same. So 
That means you need to take this much of soil from the excavation site. So this WS is the same. It can also be calculated using the property of the excavated soil. So that's in situ dry unit weight times volume of in situ. And that is, so we have 48,750 equals to the gamma D in situ. So that's the soil from the excavation side is 13.95 times V. That's something we're looking for in situ. Okay. And then if you solve for the volume, that's basically the volume of excavated soil the excavation site so in situ is 3495 meter cube okay. so that is how many cubic meters of soil you, you need from the excavation site uh, to be used as compaction fuel okay. so the that's the volume then the weight of the moist soil so weight of this moist soil from the excavation site we call this W in situ is the moist unit weight gamma M in situ times the volume we just calculated okay. and if you substitute numbers the moist unit weight in situ that's uh, 16.6 times that volume 34.95 we just calculated so this gives us the weight of the moist soil from the excavation site so that's 58,017 kilonewton okay. and finally this uh, problem asks for number of truckloads so how many 20 ton truckloads are needed to transport this much soil okay. so the number of trucks so we call that n so n of truck is simply the total weight 58,017 divided by so we have 2010 truck and we need to convert 10 to kilonewton which is 8.896 kilonewton per ton so that's just a unit conversion okay. and this gives us the number of truckloads so that's 326 truckloads okay. so that's how many truckloads are needed to transport this much moist soil so that is the extra example uh, in chapter 6.